Hello and welcome to another episode of Invincible Asia. I'm George from Movie Misfit and this week I'm going to be taking a look at the classic Sammo Hung movie Encountered of a Spooky Kind on Blu-ray from Eureka. So although this Blu-ray has been out for some time now, I've held back from opening it um, for a couple of reasons. The first was that about two weeks before that I had ordered the exact same movie on Blu-ray from Nova Media, yet unopened, um, as they both are. I will kind of make this, I guess, a bit of a double bill then and check out what Nova Media have offered in comparison to Eureka's. So. Let's get stuck into this first. This, I first caught Sammo Hung's Encounters of a Spooky Kind probably when I was about 16 on Channel 4. Uh, one Christmas they just played this, I, I'm sure a lot of Hong Kong fans in the UK will remember this. It was a long time ago. Um, mid 90s, Christmas period, maybe Christmas night, Christmas Eve, around that period, and they were showing Encounters of a Spooky Kind, um, Mr. Vampire, Zoo Warriors, uh, Esprit d'Amour. There was there was quite a few going on there and it was um it, it was just like it was the most important thing to me because you know there were these were particular movies from Hong Kong cinema that weren't yet available on video in in the UK, especially in Northern Ireland. They were probably out at some stage through the UK on VHS. Um but Northern Ireland uh, tends to get a little less than the usual. Um, so here we are. First of all, take a look at this absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous artwork. It suits the tone of the movie quite well. Uh, very similar to the Mr. Vampire cover um, that Eureka released. Um, so yes, caught it on Channel 4, recorded it off the television and became one of my all-time favourite Sammo Hung movies. Um, then Hong Kong Legends released it on DVD, which was wonderful. Um, I didn't get the Made in Hong Kong video, or actually I tell a lie, I did. Uh, I lent it to someone, it never came back. That's where it went. Um, yes, then the Hong Kong Legends DVD. And then of course, as soon as I pay a bit extra and order it from South Korea on the Nova Media label, Eureka announce. Uh, their version. So what have we got? Let's see. O-card slipcase featuring new artwork by Darren Wheeling. Uh, a reversible poster featuring new and original artwork. A 1080p presentation on Blu-ray from a brand new 2K restoration. Very good. Cantonese audio, alternate Cantonese audio, English dubbed audio, which is the classic dub from the film's original international release. Um, a modern dub of uh, English created for the film's later re-release, optional English subtitles, a brand new feature-length audio commentary by Asian film expert Frank Zhang from the New York Asian Film Festival, archival interview with Samuel Hung, alternate English opening and closing credits, stills gallery, original Hong Kong theatrical trailer, and the limited edition collector's booklet featuring new writings by James Oliver. Very nice. There's the back for you, just in case. Just in case you didn't catch that. Okay, first things first, as always, let's get out this delicious poster, which is actually going to annoy. I know it's going to annoy me, this one. I say this with all of them, but here we have Darren's artwork, which is actually just bloody gorgeous. But so is this. On the back and it's going to be hard for me to choose which side to frame. <sighs> I think I'm leaning more to this. Sorry Darren. But this here, yeah. But there we go. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay. We'll get into the booklet. More beautiful artwork on either side. And I'll have a quick flick first. Again, this is quite sim similar to all uh, Eureka booklets. You've got your cast listings, posters, which, oh, that's a beautiful page. And then of course, Oliver's write-ups here. It's 
There's got to be an easier way to look at this, right? So yes, and then of course, right at the back page, just what you should be looking for on your television. So inside, the disc has a print from the front cover, which is quite nice. Actually, I really like those colors. Colors are very, very attractive. And inside, I believe, I'm nearly sure, but I believe this guy under the makeup may be Wuma. The late, great Wuma. Nearly sure of it. Correct me if I'm wrong, please. Absolutely incredible film. Just one of Samo's finest. Again, I said before, um, not to you guys or not publicly, but to a couple of friends that I think Eureka maybe missed an opportunity in not releasing um, the follow-up Spook Encounters with this uh, as a bit of a box set uh, double pack. It would have been amazing to have both of them, you know, restored or, or 2K uh, restored and, and in high definition and released together. It would have been absolutely gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to get into the Nova one very, very quickly because I know this is really about... Um, Eureka's release and Nova I mean if I could get into it because they seal this friggin thing so bloody well mm, I gave up I had to get scissors okie dokie so uh, again just absolutely gorgeous cover original Hong Kong artwork embossed as most of the Nova Media ones are, which is bloody gorgeous. It's hard to sort of pick up, of course. And this, I did talk about um, with the Swordsman uh, collection that I had done a video on recently, that if you're lucky enough not to get the standard edition from Nova Media, you do see that they are numbered. And this is 756 of 777. Oh, lucky me. Hmm. Full HD, 1080p, runtime 103 minutes. Runtime non existent. Okay. Again, Nova doesn't do many special features. I'm sorry. Back cover. There's always a gorgeous, whereas the, the slipcases with um, Idiot and Eureka are a little more kind of cardy, flimsy. The uh, cases with Nova Media are quite solid and quite beautiful. Here we have the um, the front cover and with these numbered editions what I was trying to get at with the Swordsman was this. So you not only get the numbered um, cover you also get a pack of lobby cards. So Let's go. Samu Hung Chung Fat. You know, yes, um, I'm happy to have both. Of course I am, because obviously one release is giving you a wee bit more than the other uh, and vice versa. So it's nice to have them as a collector. It's what I do. You know, there's some films I have about six different versions of and there's reasons behind it. It's not because I'm just a lunatic, but sometimes they mean a lot to me. And sometimes it's the actual artwork that really, really attracts me. If I can find a release online that looks stunning from another country and it's a reasonable enough cost, I'm going to get it because that's kind of just what I do. That's the disc of Nova Media. Again, quite beautiful. Um, and I'll pull out the full slip for you so you get to see around the cover of this. Again, quite nice. Quite different to what Eureka are offering. And inside, uh, a grab from the movie. That famous fight in the restaurant against Lam Ching Ying and his men. So... Just a delicious little addition to the collection. Um, 
So it's going to be interesting now to do a quality check because this uh, release from Nova Media is um, just listed as 1080p uh, HD, full HD, whereas the Eureka release is um, taken from a 2K restoration, which I think might just might just win the upper hand here. So I'm going to go do a quality check and I'll be with you very soon. Okay, so fi <laughs> finally got through <laughs> through them. Uh, I started, I watched about 10 minutes of, as I normally do, 10 minutes of the original um, Hong Kong Legends uh, release just to put that DVD quality back in my head. And sure enough, I mean, it does, look, I, I love Hong Kong Legends. I love what they had done uh, and put out there, but you know, the quality in comparison is just so naff. Um, and their menus, I mean, Hong Kong Legends never ever did have exciting menus. They were always very bland um, and very dreary menus for a genre that's so exciting and so like colorful and buzzing and amazing. Their menus for me were always a wee bit of the disappointing side of, uh, of their releases. So I watched about 10 minutes of that just to get the uh, the quality back in my head. And then I followed that up with a viewing for at least 30 minutes of the Nova Media release. The 30 minutes can be enough to get through darker scenes, um, lighter scenes, more colorful scenes. And it really, the difference between that, uh, obviously at 1080p um, and the DVD was, was quite stunning. It, it was pretty much more than enough and then uh plus i have to say their menus were even though it wasn't as a uh, there wasn't as much on offer all they have is a trailer on there as a special feature that's it but the the trailer or the menu was quite cool i really liked it it was pretty much uh this little thing here very colorful on the screen in full hd and then finally i put on eureka's release is which is why we're here um which is the 2K restoration or 1080p presentation of the 2K restoration. And wow, it even looked better than the Nova Media Blu-ray release. It had better color, much better color, um, more sharpness to it. The sound was lovely uh, and the menus were fantastic. The menu carried the same the same kind of artwork there, but it, it just did its own thing with it. and. I really, really, really loved it. The extras were great fun, I have to say. Um, but yes, uh, to me, from from out of what I have and from what I know is out there, this Eureka release of Encounters of the Spooky Kind is probably the ultimate edition for me. Um, absolutely gorgeous, well worth a buy, especially if you have not seen the movie. Um, if you're a fan of Sam Hun or you just really want a good time this should be in your collection this was a lot of fun i mean wow the the difference between that and having watched it for years on vhs and, and on hong kong legends uh dvd is quite amazing so get out there and get it i uh, i'm actually going to follow this video up with another eureka release that just came through the door while i was in viewing um and it is ching su jung's classic debut Jewel to the Death, one of my all-time favorite Hong Kong movies here on Blu-ray. Can't wait. See you soon. Bye.